Hello and welcome to the Rugby Roundup, September 19th, 2024. Hi, I'm Big Mike. What a weekend of rugby we had. What an amazing weekend of rugby we will have. This week on the show, I'll be previewing a couple of new tournaments popping up on the other side of the world, as well as mentioning one tournament I missed the starting round of last week. My bad. As always, if you'd like me to talk about any games or championships or anything rugby related, please contact me at the socials, on the YouTubes, at Big Mike Sports, and on Instagram at Big Mike Sports NZ. Now let's get to the roundup. In international games over the weekend, we'll start in the women's game, the big game over the weekend. England, New Zealand at Allianz Stadium, formerly Twickenham. This game was 17-0 to England at half time. Game pretty much already over. Final score 24-12, England over New Zealand. Their dominance continues and likely will continue into the WXV1 and potentially into the World Cup next year. In other results in women's internationals, Italy beat Japan 24-8. Ireland got a great victory over Australia, 36-10. to Scotland defeated Fiji, 59-15. to And Samoa beat Australia, A, 20-17. to Pacific Nations Cup results in Japan for the fifth place. Tonga defeated Canada, 30-17. to And in the semi-finals, Fiji, despite having a slow start against the USA, won 22-3. And Japan defeated Samoa 49-27 in a game that was never close. Meaning that this weekend, USA Samoa for third place. Fiji versus Japan for the Pacific Nations Cup in 2024. To some domestic results now. In New Zealand's NPC in the Ranfurly Shield, Tasman had a successful defence, their first defence against Wellington 28-15, Tasman now being the only unbeaten team. In other top six action, Waikato defeated Hawke's Bay in a blowout 50-5 and Bay of Plenty defeated Taranaki 33-20. On the other side of the table, the winless Manawatu had losses against Harbour and Southland. In the Farrah Palmer Cup, in the Championship Semis, Manawatu defeated Harbour 72-0, Otago defeated Wellington 51-38, reversing a result going the other way earlier in the season. Manawatu, Otago, winner of that one this weekend, will be in the Premiership next year. Meanwhile, speaking of the Premiership, Counties Monaco, who were sitting comfortably at the top, had their first loss versus Waikato, 57-29. Into South Africa now, in the semi-finals of the Curry Cup, the Golden Lions defeated the Cheetahs, 43-34, and one of my big three last week, Sharks versus Bulls, at full time, or 80 minutes, this game was 33 all after 100 minute, 40 to 40. The Sharks progressing through to the Curry Cup final because they scored the most tries. Now to the French. In the top 14, unbeaten to lose. Got a huge victory over La Rochelle, 35 to 27. They were behind in this one before taking the eight point lead. And the other unbeaten team, Lyon, defeated Bordeaux, 28-26. to Those two being the only unbeaten squads left. On the other side of the table, Perpignan and Vaughan have no wins after two rounds. Now, I completely missed the start of another competition last weekend. Um, a competition that I've only just learned about, and this being the Rugby Union, oh, sorry, Rugby Europe, R.E., Super Cup. This is the third tier competition in Europe behind the Champions Cup and the Challenge Cup with teams from a whole bunch of countries that you're going to be excited about. 2024 teams include Black Lion from Georgia, Castilla e Leon 
Iberians from Spain, Lusitanos XV from Portugal, Brussels Devils from Belgium, Delta from the Netherlands, the Romanian Wolves from Romania, and making their debut this season, the Bohemia Rugby Warriors from the Czech Republic. Former teams in this competition include a couple of Russian teams that do not compete anymore for obvious reasons, thanks to the situation between Russia and Ukraine. And the Tel Aviv Heat from Israel, who have been runners-up in the last two seasons, and this year could not be in the competition. In the three seasons of the RE Super Cup, Black Lion from Georgia have been the champion, and there has been a push from Black Lion, the only team I had heard of, trying to get into one of the higher competitions in Europe. Very, very, very familiar from our Georgian friends. Round one action so far, Lusitanos beat Iberians, Delta beat the Brussels Devils. Black Lion got a big one over Iberians, and the Romanian Wolves beat the Bohemia Warriors. This will be a fun one. Can anyone stop Black Lion? Let's find out in the upcoming months. That's our roundup. Now let's get to our fun fact this week about Olympics rugby. Now we know that Sevens started at the Olympics in Rio, and we've had it in Rio, Tokyo, and now Paris. But did you know that four, four editions of the Olympics had rugby? These being 1900, 1908, 1920 and 1924. Two of these tournaments just having a single game, gold and silver, and one having three teams with the winners. In 1900 being France, 1908 being Australasia, and 1920 and 1924 being the USA gold medalists in rugby. Now let's get to a giant, giant preview of what's happening this weekend around the world in the beautiful sport of rugby union. The rugby championship continues. In Argentina, it will be the Pumas and the Springboks, with the Springboks needing just one more victory to secure the rugby championship for the first time since 2019. Argentina holding on to hope that they can get a couple of big wins and take the championship for the very first time. In the other game in the rugby championship in Sydney, a game I will be heading to, Bledisloe Cup, Game 1, Wallabies versus the All Blacks. Not for the Rugby Championship, neither of these teams can win, but we are fighting for the Bledisloe Cup. Australia, of course, needing two victories in the two games to regain the Bledisloe Cup for the first time since before even one of their players was born. As mentioned earlier, in the Pacific Nations Cup, USA taking on Manu Samoa for the third place, and in the final, Fiji, Japan, that one's going to be fun. Good luck to both teams. There are a few women's internationals this weekend, with most of the big teams taking a rest before WXV begins. South Africa will be playing Spain. The Netherlands will be playing Fiji. And Wales will be taking on Australia. Now, domestics. In New Zealand's MPC, we have a bunch of top six teams playing each other once again. Hawks Bay Taranaki. Wellington Bay of Plenty and Waikato versus Tasman. Tasman's next defence of the Ranfurly Shield will be against Auckland in a few weeks' time, that being Auckland's second challenge in 14 years. On the other side of the table, can Manawatu get their first victory against Otago, who are currently in 11th place out of 14 teams? In the Farah Palmer Cup, it's the last round of the Premiership before the semi-finals. Counties Monaco on top of the table have a bye. In the Championship final, we've got Manawatu versus Otago. And for the final semi-final spot, Bay of Plenty versus Canterbury. In South Africa, the final of the Curry Cup, which is also the first week of the URC and South Africa taking on Argentina in Super Rugby. It's a bit of a cluster. It will be 
the Golden Lions versus the Sharks. Luckily in the URC, the Lions and Sharks were scheduled to play each other this week and that game has been postponed. This is like for our New Zealand and Australian listeners, uh, using New Zealand as an example, if the final of the NPC was in the first round of the Super Rugby competition as the All Blacks played for the Bledisloe Cup. In top 14 action, our unbeaten teams, Lyon, who are filled with Georgians, take on last place Vaughan, and Toulouse take on Montpellier with familiar names such as George Bridge and Billy Vunipola. Now, which tournaments are beginning this week? We have the English Premiership. This is a competition that has been riddled with scandal and unfortunate happenings since COVID and recently with financial difficulties for three teams such as London Irish, Wasps and Worcester Warriors, I don't know how to say it, the Warriors all going into administration and no longer being in the team. In 2022-23 there are 13 teams in the Premiership and Premiership Rugby this season there will only be 10. A bunch of English players following the World Cup and Six Nations this year, etc., have gone out, out to play elsewhere, including France's top two divisions. But hopefully there will be some excitement in the Premiership Rugby this year with 10 teams. Last year's winners, Northampton, after defeating Bath, 25-21 in the final. Michael Checker, former coach of the Wallabies and the Pumas, will now be coaching at Leicester. Yeah. Looking at some of the favourites, Northampton, champions from last year. They have lost the likes of Courtney Laws. They should still be a very strong team. Saracens have gained Maro Toji and Fergus Burke from the Crusaders after losing Owen Farrell and the Vunipolas. At Bath, they've got Finn Russell running the show. And the Sale Sharks as well could be a favourite looking into this one with George Ford. And the new signing, the big, oh, excuse me, the big signing from this season. Fijian captain Waisea Nayathalevu coming into the sale shards. Biggest game from this weekend looks to be Bath versus Northampton. Repeat of last year's final. To the URC. Now, this is the big competition uh, for those of us down here in Australasia where the South Africans ended up after the unfortunate divorce of Super Rugby a couple of seasons ago. There are 16 teams in the URC, South Africa, Ireland and Wales all having four teams each, with Scotland and Italy having two. In the 2023-24 final, Glasgow went down to South Africa and defeated the Bulls 21-16 to take the title. Despite being European heavyweights in Leinster, have not been able to get the deal done in the last few seasons. Big signing for them, Geordie Barrett. Other favourites will be the Bulls, Stormers, Glasgow, of course, and Munster. Not a Welsh or Italian team in sight. Also, big game this weekend. Stormers, Bulls. What a banger to kick off. Wow, okay. That's all that's happening this weekend. My big three, if you've only got time to watch one to three games this weekend... Make sure it's one of these guys. We have the Pumas and the Springboks in Argentina in the Rugby Championship. Fiji and Japan in the final of the Pacific Nations Cup. And in the Curry Cup final in South Africa, the Golden Lions versus the Sharks. These three have championship quality. No, that's the wrong word. They're for championships, essentially. What a round. Okay. That's our roundup this week. Thank you for listening, watching, however you do it. Find me on all the things. Do your thing. And make sure that you have a beautiful week. And you watch some beautiful rugby.